Hi, I'm Doug from Dynamic Computing and welcome to episode 124 of 10 Minute Amiga Retrocast. Sorry about the delay in getting a new video out. Uh, first, I had a little mishap with an Amiga 500 that I was uh, uh, doing a review of the new uh, Ramsey's 2 megabyte uh, board for, and that is a very important and key component on there, broke, and I have to replace the part in the Amiga 500 to get it to work again, so I delayed that video. And then I ended up getting sick and was laid up with about five, six days with a really bad flu, but wasn't COVID, I'm happy. But we're back and we're back with a vengeance. And today I want to talk about something that's pretty cool. And that is a cool mouse adapter for any model of Amiga. Now, we've all used the good old fashioned tank mouse for years. We know and love this little beauty right here. But to be perfectly honest, using a roller ball in the bottom of the mouse, it gets gunked up after a while, gets nasty and uh, that they just don't eh, have the control that you might need. Uh, modern mice, like uh, the, an optical mouse that uses a little uh, infrared sensor in there instead of the roller balls, they're a great alternative, but they don't necessarily work on the Amiga. Of course, there's some cool kits, like one you can get from Amiga Kit here, that will convert your roller ball uh, tank mouse into an optical mouse, and those get good reviews but most of us have about 11 million USB mice just laying around someplace in the house. At least I know I do. So what if we could use just about any one of these USB mice on our Amiga? Well, you can. Our good friend who runs TrueMouse.com has a really neat little interface. Let me show it to you. Look at this little cutie. Look at this. You can see a uh, finger for comparison. Uh, basically, you've got your nine pin Atari type adapter right here. And you've got a little chippy doodle down there that has its own USB stack built into it. There's true mouse. And you've got a standard USB mouse port on the side. And what this little guy does for your Amiga, and I believe it works on other systems too, is just convert mouse signals from a USB mouse to be perfectly usable on an Amiga. That is pretty cool. Now this will fit in virtually any Amiga, even the, uh, the tight little squeeze here on our Amiga 600. There we go. Where you have these little, uh, the, the mouse normally connects right here. It fits just fine. Matter of fact, let's hook it up to the Amiga 600 and see how she works. Now, please, only plug this in with the power off. You don't want to zap a CIA chip. You don't want to zap the little magical chip in there. But she literally just plugs right in to the 9-pin Atari type port. And you can see it's a nice little fit even on an Amiga 600. Then you take any old optical mouse like this one here that was uh, very nicely provided to me when I bought the product. Um, this is just a standard, cheap and cheerful, probably a five or six dollar USB mouse. And we're going to plug her in again with the power on the Amiga 600 off. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is the first time this has ever happened. I put a USB device in and plugged it in the correct way the first time, not upside down. This is, this is monumental. And lo and behold, she works exactly like an Amiga mouse would work. I'm using just a standard mouse pad. I'm not getting any jitter. I'm not getting any little problems here. Let's launch a few programs and see how it works. These screen dragging works just great. Uh, right mouse button, no problem at all. Works just beautifully. And a little, little graphic image here. All right, so we load up a little image and mouse control absolutely perfect. I'm not having any issues at all with mouse control. Everything selects just beautifully. And I'm ruining this beautiful logo. Those of you who are observant will notice that the mouse here has a scroll wheel on it. See that? That blurry scroll wheel. And those of you that are 
observant will know that the Amiga with version 3.2 of the OS supports a scroll wheel. You go in here to eye control, scroll wheel enabled, big old honking check mark right there. So does the scroll wheel work on this USB interface? No. I can scroll all day long. I've tried it with multiple programs. The scroll wheel does not work. Now I've had to be fair, I've owned another USB mouse adapter that was created by a Jens from individual computers. Also, no luck on the scroll wheel. That's a disappointment. But Douglas, you're saying, this is 2022 and we don't want clumsy old USB wires clogging up our Amigas. We want the slickest, cleanest Amiga that we can get, especially a cute little thing like the Amiga 600. So, how does a wireless mouse work with this? You know, one with the little dongle, like this Logitech dongle right here, plugs in via USB, that goes along with this nice little trackball. I happen to like trackballs quite a bit. I use them, I've used them for years on my machines, and eh, maybe 50-50 trackball on the machines that I use. So how does this work? Let's just plug it in, take a look. And look at this, we have the trackball right here and she works absolutely perfectly. Left and right mouse buttons work absolutely as you'd expect. No problem at all. Same issue with the, uh, the scroll wheel not working, but the wireless trackball works perfect. Now, in speaking with the creator of this True Mouse adapter, he says your best bet is to use uh, a wireless device that has the little orange logo on it. You'll see it right here. That's the Unify uh, logo that's, uh, that Logitech uses. He says those work just great. Your mileage might vary with other wireless mice, but the Logitechs that I've tried have worked fine. The generic ones I've tried have worked fine. So far, I haven't, had I haven't found one that has not functioned just fine. Now, do I wish that the scroll bar worked? Absolutely, that would be a game changer when it comes to doing things like uh, eyebrows and things like that. It'd be just lovely to be able to scroll through and scroll up and down on the screen, but it's not the end of the world. I never got it to work on any of my Amigas, to be perfectly honest. How much is that little gem? It's about $30 in uh, British money, which works out to be like $37 or so US money which is usually cheaper than trying to track down a, a uh, one of the standard Amiga brick type mice. I'm thrilled to pieces with the kind of control it gives me. It does absolutely feel more accurate than a standard roller type mouse, mainly because you move the roller type mice around and the little ball gets stuck. It just does. And uh, you clean the thing out. No. This eliminates all those problems. Works great. I am very pleased with my purchase and I encourage you to purchase it if you need a mouse for your Amiga. Huge thanks to my good friends and my fantastic supporters from Patreon. Uh, you see them scrolling across the screen here on a, a new 16 color version of my logo. This is uh, uh, done on my Amiga 600, did a little conversion. Uh, if you'd like to help the show, pop on over to patreon.com forward slash 10 mark. And for as little as $2 a month, you can help support the show and uh, keep videos like this coming. I do appreciate you stopping by today for this quick little video. I really like this USB mouse adapter. I really like the guy from True, True Mouse. He helped me out a lot with an issue that I had with the first one I got. Thumbs up to that for taking care of me. Please follow me on Twitter, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram. All the links to that are right in the description. But until next time, this is Doug from 10 Minute Amiga Retrocast signing out.